for coming out you guys. It's no problem. A little bit of a short notice. <laughs> and basically, I'm just going to go from the start. I've seen you guys talk when just a few years back, where really all I knew you guys was the two sisters. Because yeah, it's the first yeah, time I've ever seen yeah. you. <laughs> Up until now, you guys have grown amazingly. It's been okay. crazy. What's it been like from the success and the way it's been? Um, like, things have changed a lot. Our songs have changed, definitely. Our lineup has changed because we added David. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's been great. Like, we just have a lot more fun writing and stuff. We're playing a lot more shows than we did back then. And hopefully just improving with everyone. And uh, what actually caused you to bring out David? Um, yeah, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, uh, we really wanted a bass player, and he wasn't our first, like, the first guy who auditioned for our band, but um, we had a lot of different bass players who wanted to join, and he was just the best one, I guess. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, like it, it was weird, because, like, as you know, we bo we used to do it just Sades and I, yeah. but then uh, we were, like, a, just a two-piece, but then everyone kept saying, you need to get a bass player, you should get a bass player, like, really fill out your sound, and so we were like... Yeah, so we, I don't know, we just held auditions and we weren't really into it. Yeah, none of the people, we played with a couple different people, just, you know, one-off shows with them and it just didn't really fit. But then, I don't know, we ended up jamming with David and he just had a really good vibe and our personality really was just nice. Quick, yeah. Yeah. And like you said, you guys have been playing a lot more shows recently. Of course, there's school and your personal life. Yeah. How, how do you balance that all? Um, you know what, everyone asks me that and it's not that hard. You know, it's not as hard as everyone thinks. Basically, you just, uh, if you really want to, you'll find a way to do it. Mm -hmm. you know? How about you guys? How do you balance it all? Honestly, I don't really have much of a life outside of the band. <laughs> like, I have, I have my social life, which half encompasses the band. Like, most of the times that I'm going out somewhere, hanging out with friends, it's either, like, after practice or because I'm at a show or something like that. And then, well, I'm not in school right now, so I don't need to worry <laughs> about that. So it, frees up a lot more time. Yeah. Yeah, and then for us, I don't know, for Sades and I, we're both still doing grade 12 right now, so <laughs> we kind of do most of our academic stuff online, and that's really helpful. And then as for like friends and stuff, I don't know, whenever we find time, <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah. we just hang out. And a lot of our friends are actually in bands too, so that's yeah. helpful, because we, you know, we spend a lot of time together. That's definitely. Yeah. And then tour life, what's, what's that like? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, well, it's different depending on like where you go yeah. and who you're with and what kind of tour it is. Like, um, I don't know, it's pretty awesome though. The three of us get along really well and we just like traveling to different cities and meeting new people and stuff. So it can it's, get like tiring, but yeah. I don't know, like at this point we're still a pretty young band, so we're really yeah. into touring. Yeah. yeah. We're not, we're not sick of We're not jaded yet. yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Do you have any interesting or any interesting or surprising stories, <laughs> embarrassing stories from tour life? Well, this few, I guess. <laughs> we care to share. That's so embarrassing, but... <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of a good one, because there's so many, like... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Well, okay, for this time, um, Mercedes forgot to bring a toothbrush and, like, all her stuff. So, good job. All the important stuff. Yeah, so I don't even have to go buy all that shit now. I have to go buy it. <laughs> I don't know, just stuff like that. You can tell we're pretty inexperienced because, yeah. like, I don't know. I always need those two guys. I'd forget, like, all my gear if it weren't for them, so. Yeah, we've done that a couple times, just forgot. Oh, well, um, we were touring with this one band who, uh, we just like to play pranks on them and stuff like that. So it was in the middle of winter in Quebec, and we took a snowball and we basically like packed it really tight. It was like an ice ball, <laughs> and we right shoved up. it in their tailpipe of yeah. their van, hoping that their van would like backfire or something. <laughs> We're really nice people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just recently, you guys were uh, a top one in bands on AP. Mm -hmm. What's that like? What do you have to say about that? What's that like? Uh, awesome. Like. I love AP Magazine, and they, when our music video came out, they put it on their website and everything, so they've just been really awesome to us and stuff, and uh, yeah, they have awesome articles, and they're great. <laughs> um, I've actually seen your music video, just oh, watched yeah. it the uh, other day. Cool. What has it been like, kind of, 
it's such kind of different feel that I've gone from other music videos I've seen. Yeah. Well, how was it like? Because definitely it's the fight scene, you're shooting guns, yeah. driving. It's kind of an interesting tale. That's more the sort of stuff we like to do, like um, <laughs> every day. We just, yeah, every yeah. day. Or <laughs> <we're laughs> <always laughs> fight gun fights. Fight life. No, but like we tried two different directors for this one that we did like the past two with the same director and he was awesome and then we tried like two different ones for this one and they collabed and they came up with an awesome like an awesome script and uh, basically I think the reason why it's so you know so different and so much more like a movie is because they emailed us and basically the first thing they asked us was like okay well give us a list of your favorite movies so then we each gave them a list and then from that they wrote kind of like a dark, like pulp fiction yeah. type script for us. So yeah. I don't know. It's the sort of stuff that we like to do and we like to watch. It's definitely interesting the shooting scene. Yeah. So scary. Well, I mean, had the big gun. Her gun was like so big. It was like I don't know. I don't really. I've never actually shot a gun before, and those were like, um, you know, I was actually firing blanks when I did that, and I didn't know that the recoil was going to be so bad. Like. I thought it was just gonna be like, oh whatever, like a cap gun kind of, but it actually like shook me so hard when we did like a practice. And there was gunpowder on her face. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like crazy. We didn't know, like when I found the script, I didn't even think about it and I was just sort of like, yeah, like whatever. Just blanks, like who cares? But then we got a whole talk from like the dude from Resident Evil was showing us how to think of the guns and stuff. Yeah, and crazy. he was just like, blanks can kill you. If you shoot them at point blank range, they can like. I was, that's when I like basically like shit my pants. Like, oh my <laughs> god, I actually started like shaking before we did the yeah. scene because I didn't practice anything. But, but yeah. luckily hers were first and then mine. Yeah. <laughs> and I had like this, her bullets are like this big, mine are like that. <laughs> like they're so small. Mm. And I had like this little revolver. So it was good to watch her do it, then I could do mine. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then, of course, you guys are on uh, the homeschool records. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What can we expect? You guys are signed on to a regular amount. What can we expect to you in the future or the rest of 2012? Well, we're about, we just got the news today. We're like about to do a couple shows with a band called The Pretty Reckless. Um, we're doing a couple, we're doing one in Toronto and in Quebec and in Montreal at some awesome theaters, so we're really stoked. Um, we're releasing an acoustic EP, which is acoustic versions of all the songs on the EP that we just released. And then we're going to release another EP, which is all new originals. We're going on tour, and hopefully we're going to put out some more music videos and stuff, and do some festivals in the summer too. That's so just sweet. a lot of stuff. <laughs> Sounds like you have a pretty book song, right? Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the interview. <laughs> 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 <laughs>